Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Cancer, this is the Beware spread. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, then we have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. We have Judgment, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. And we have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And uh, to be honest with you, considering what I already saw in the uh, main spread, I started digging a little bit in the underneath the deck. And we've got two more cards, which are confirming what I was actually thinking is happening and we've got the uh, suspect who is going to be happening because of. So underneath the Six of Pentacles we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy information to digest. Okay. But I'm just being very straightforward with you. Um, the Queen of Cups in the spread is you, Cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, if you are already in a relationship or if you are married, then that relationship or marriage could be coming to an end in uh, December. Or if uh, you were hoping to uh, get into a committed relationship or marriage with somebody, then unfortunately it's going to fall through. All of it is because somebody is going to come in and they're going to take your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other away from you, unfortunately. And um, that person who is coming in for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So let's dig a little bit deeper. So we have uh, the Ten of Swords right next to the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. So I clarified it and we've got the uh, Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. The Hierophant is either a Taurus you're dealing with, but most likely the Hierophant is all about a, something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So that is coming to an end. And uh, the Nine of Pentacles, clarifying the Ten of Swords with the Hierophant is a single person card. So you are becoming single, all right? All of that is because of the uh, Judgment card, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So Judgment is, I believe, somebody coming back from the past for your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other. It doesn't have to be somebody they used to go out with. It could just be somebody whom uh, they had a crush on or that person had a crush on them. And that person could be coming in and they're going to take your person away from you because judgment like I said somebody coming back from the past then the two of Pentacles is a card of a jungler juggler and the knight of swords is either an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius or this is the energy of this person rushing into your life and uh, snatching your significant other away from you um, we also have the six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck the six of Pentacles in this case as I suspect that this is um, all about dealing with more than one person. That's one of the meanings of the Six of Pentacles. Because if you take a closer look, we have somebody standing in the middle and we also have two people uh, on the sides. So I think that's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other dealing with you and this other person. And this other person could be this Queen of Pentacles, which is underneath the Six of Pentacles, right? It's either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this person is very nurturing down to Earth. But uh, ambitious still at the same time and underneath the Queen of Pentacles we have the Three of Cups that is this is a third party situation card so yeah that's what I got for you I know it's not a happy uh, idea to digest but this is the be aware spread so this is what you need to be aware of for this um, month cancer Here's the advice spread for you, Cancer. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have Death clarified by the Lovers. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or Gemini or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the Queen of Pentacles is back. Um, this is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this person is very grounded and very nurturing, but like I said, still very ambitious. 
So you will have a choice, Cancer. It'll be 100% up to you what you want to do here. You can either end this relationship yourself or you can choose to um, sort of fight for it or take a preemptive action. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, the first card on the left, this is also a repeat card. This is a, somebody who is, uh, uh, let's just say, talking to more than one person. And the next card that came out is the Death card. The Death card is the card of an ending or a transformation. And it's clarified by the Lovers. The Lovers is either a Gemini you're dealing with or this is a choice. And I really like the fact that one major icon is clarifying the other. So you will have a choice to either end uh, your relationship or your marriage yourself or you will have a choice to do something about it and prevent whatever we just saw in the um, first spread from happening. Okay, now that you are aware of this coming towards you, you can take a preemptive action, whatever that action is for you. And, by, and you can save uh, your relationship. Hopefully it doesn't, whatever, if you decide to save it, I hope it's not anything extreme. <laughs> All right? Let's just say, let's just stay uh, civilized. So the Five of Pentacles is the card of somebody who is left out in the cold. So it could be um, you who is just packed their stuff and left, or you could be leaving this Queen of Pentacles out in the cold because you are aware of uh, this person coming towards. Perhaps you already know who this person is or you have suspicions. Okay? So do your research anyway. Don't confront your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend because you just watched it. Don't do anything stupid. Do your research. Do your homework. Observe. And then um, make a decision. Alright? Cool. Alright, so here's the third spread. This is the uh, next thing that's going to happen to you in December that will at least put a smile on your face. Cancer. We have uh, the Tower clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Swords clarified by the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we have the Queen of Pentacles again here, and uh, by the way, this is a different deck of cards. So the message is so strong, it's coming through all the way. The universe really wants you to know that. So the next good thing that will happen to you, Cancer, is that you'll be able to prevent what we saw in the first spread from happening. Because the tower clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, in this spread this is all about something unexpectedly happening, and by uh, unexpectedly I mean the uh, Queen of Pentacles showing up in your life. Right, and uh, the Knight of Cups, this is a love offer coming from this Queen of Pentacles. Right, but the good news is that the remaining cards are saying that you'll be able to uh, defend what you believe is yours and save uh, your relationship or your marriage. The Page of Swords right there, um, I think in this case this is somebody who is on defense, because if you take a closer look at that page, this page has got their sword out and uh, they're ready to strike if they have to. And I think that's exactly what you're going to do, you're going to take some preemptive action and save your marriage or save your um, partnership or relationship because the page of swords is clarified by the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is somebody who is holding on to something right so you're you will make a decision to hold on to it and uh, do whatever necessary to uh, prevent it from happening and we also have the two of swords on the bottom of the deck the two of swords is a card of a no or this is a card of somebody who uh, basically prevents something from happening right this is a cross, so it's whatever we saw in the first spread is not going to happen because uh, you have watched this video <laughs> and uh, you know what to do. All right, Cancer, so um, that's what I got for you. Don't forget to watch your weekly and monthly readings on my channel. And uh, other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.